If I was a rich man. Do 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 all day long I da 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 dum if I was a wealthy man I wouldn't have to work hard. Anyway, here we go. We're going to look at this Mr Kier of Starmer. Him that was in charge. I'm moving you up. We're going up in the elevator. We are elevating ourselves above the hoi polloi on this one, Voodoo Vers, yes we are. Um Yes, he was in charge of the Crown Prosecution at the time of Operation U Tree, where he got hold of a couple of bleed stooges, the Andrew Ash and Carl Beach. Yeah, they like to keep it all arboreal, you know. Yes, keep it keep it sort of yeah, easy and plain. Wheeled on Wedgemeister and all the other bleeding stooges. And out of that he then ended up a lord. Being a very sociable lord, they then well, they just voted him in to be head of the Bleeding Socialist Party in New Britain. Yes, he's in charge. And they're mooting him. Oh, we ain't got a hope in hell. We're going to hell in the proverbial handcart. Because next year, they reckon we're going to have this bleed monster. Not him. That's Nick Ferrari of LBC. Bleed munchkin he is. Um, but Keir of Starmer, if you're overseas, he is the leader of the Bleeding Socialist Party. Or as we like to call it in Britain, Labour Bleeding Party. All right. He's a geezer. So what's going on? Well, he's not a geezer. He's a bleeding tool. Fine working class. Oh, working class. Right. Is, yes. Um, families that. Yes. Um, you know, um, work for their living, earn their money. Whose through... daughters were industrial uh, essayed and you covered it up. Is that the working classes? Is it, is it them? Oh, is it the peasants? Yes, the peasants. Like when you went into the pub in, in Bath. Was it Bath? Yes. And the guy told you to get out of his pub because, after all, it was what was one called his property in his pub. And you said to him, I don't have to take advice of people like you, don't you? Was it that working class person? And I wouldn't call a landlord of a pub and owning property a working class person. No, I wouldn't. But, uh, you know, whatever. Yes, he is for us peasants, the working classes. He's never met any of us. And it will transpire. He can't even define what he is. But anyway, yeah, working classes, my dear. They're the people that ran out of the trenches, yes, in their thousands and hundreds of thousands in the First World War. Yes, so you can sit here talking a load of Marxist hooey. Go on. Let's go. Um, going out to work every day. Not right. Really not middle classes do that. Well, um, class yes. um, families have the ordinary hope. Right, that you don't become prime minister. In life. I mean, this has been a story. Middle classes have that. Yeah, of course well. they do. Of course He's they. such a prat. He is such a plum of the highest bleeding order, this man. I cannot believe he actually gets dressed on his own. I mean, who does his shoelaces up? And if they do do them up, can you tie them up together? Bleeding conk on him. Go on. Was that a distinction? I was, I was addressing... Yes. Um, a the fact you're thick. Thing, I think, <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. He's an absolute melt. He can't define what a working class person is, even though, as leader of the Labour Party, yeah, he actually, well, he actually stands up for the working classes. He's all about the working classes. Yes, he is, he is, he really is, yeah. And all the French, yeah. Come on to me, all you people that are disenfranchised from society, come and vote for me. The very sociable, everybody's equal, Lord of Keir Pier. Yes, yes, that's what you need to do, my dears. I'm going to be the Sir Prime Minister, Sinister of Summit or other in Britain next year. And I'm going to F it up even more than what it even is effed up. And that is extremely, extremely hard to do, considering the sorry state of our country. Can't even define a Here, yeah, there's another thing. I dropped a clanger earlier. I said it too soon, didn't I? But this is a matter of public record. His father, you know, my dears, was a tool maker. And he's made... One hell of a tool.